is John DeBella is retiring today. Today is his last day on the air after nearly 48 years in radio. 48 years in radio, 41 of those in Philly. Let's see what he's saying. I know you hate the dust. I hate the dust stuff. <laughs> Joe Bell called me yesterday. Now, about he the told party me he was going to have his wife in there and his brother, and he thought it would... So, oh, that's Steve. Yeah, that's his sidekick yeah, right now. So I don't guys, think his so wife and brother know, are there yet. So we got some time to get there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So he goes off the air. He'll close that microphone at 9 o'clock this morning. Um, I talked to him uh, yesterday, and uh, we talked about, well, all sorts of stuff. Here's what he had to say uh, this time. This one year... I had the opportunity to have Don Pardo, the famed announcer Don Pardo, on the show. And he was going to be our announcer all morning long. And about, oh, God, I must have been made three, or, three hours into the show or something. He grabs me and says, i got to tell you something. And I said, what? He goes, you are the luckiest SOB in America. I said, why? He said, the ability to be able to do live radio with a live studio audience, right? And, you know, and to get that charge off of them and give it right back at them. He said, nobody else in the country gets to do this. And it was like, you know, and that day just, I, I always think of that day. Uh, Don Pardo. Uh, I don't know. For, for young people may not know who Don Pardo is. One of the most famous announcers in television history. He, uh, later on in life, he was the voice of Saturday Night Live. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that was a big moment for John. What's it going to be like when he shuts off the mic? No. We're going to continue years. to reflect and hear more from him yeah. um, throughout the morning. But yeah, what, what are your final words going to be? I wonder, yeah, what is he going to say? I'm out. <laughs> uh, we'll come right back.